Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that has been produced specially for you. Hey children! Hello and welcome back to our kids service. And I am so excited to learn today's lesson. Are you all excited too? I hope so. And I'm sure you all remember the name of the series we've been doing for the past few weeks. Can you type it in the live chat below and tell us what's the series that we're learning about? Come on, go ahead. Type it in. That's right. We have been doing a series on the Beatitudes of Jesus. I hope you remember what they are. All right. Now, before we get into today's lesson, can you tell me the name of this flower? You can all type in your answers in the live chat below. You just have to tell me what the name of this flower is. Well, this flower is called a dandelion. Did you know, children, that the dandelions can be used in food and they are also used as medicine? They are very useful and have a lot of health benefits. But do you know what people do when these flowers grow in their gardens? Do we know that, children? They pluck and rip them apart and get rid of them just because they grow wildly everywhere but despite people doing this what do the dandelions do they still continue growing and flourish they still grow to be useful the flower that god made them to be children now can you think of a time when you did the right thing but got into trouble for doing it just like how the dandelions are cut off even if it is useful right or were you mistreated or teased for doing the right thing or sometimes even being teased or hurt just because you're a Christian does that happen to us or maybe because you follow Jesus how did this make you feel it seems so unfair, doesn't it? You know what, children? No one understands this feeling. This feeling of being mistreated and misunderstood. And experience all of this better than Jesus. And he gave us the last two Beatitudes based on this. I know you're all waiting to learn more about the Beatitudes. But before we go ahead, Let's pray and get started. Jesus, I pray for a brave and faithful heart to follow you, even when it seems so difficult. I pray that we understand your word and remember it today in kids' church service. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 1 Peter 1 verses 6 and 7 says on that day you will be glad even if you have to go through many trials for a while your faith will be like gold that has been tested in a fire and these trials will prove that your faith is worth much more than gold that can be destroyed they will show that you will be given praise and honor and glory when Jesus Christ returns. Children, this verse says that we should be happy even in difficult situations like when people make fun of us, call us bad names or hurt us when we stand up for what is right. God is using these situations to make us more like Him and into strong warriors for Him. We can be happy knowing that we are pleasing to God and that we will be rewarded in heaven. Isn't this something we need to celebrate? 
to give thanks to God and to worship Him, don't you think? So let's show our happiness to God by singing, dancing and worshipping Him. Can we all stand to our feet and praise and worship our God? Good morning children. Remember the story of the Israelites when they were slaves in Egypt and uh, God heard their prayer and he sent Moses to them. And what did Moses do? He went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go.
great God, Lord, creator of the universe, and yet you're so lovely to us, Lord. You save us, Lord. Pull us out of the stormy seas every single time, Lord. So we trust you and we know that you are there for us every single time. In Jesus' name. Are you ready for an activity? Remember in the beginning of today's service we spoke about the dandelion flower? Now let's learn how to make it. So for this craft you will need craft paper, a pen, scissors and glue. So first we'll make the stem and the leaves. It's very simple. Just use your green craft paper and draw a simple stem like this and two leaves like this and cut it out and then stick it on a background let me show you like this now let's make the flower now to make the flower take your white craft paper and cut out a circle like this and then you make inward cuts towards the center to form petals i'll show you how like this. don't cut all the way to the center but just halfway like this cut all round Once you're done cutting, then you stick it to the stem like this. Okay. See, like this. And then if you want, you can just uh, curl some of the petals inward like this, just to make it stand out. Or you can take your scissor and just run your scissor through like this. See, it gets curled. Take your scissor. And just run it through the paper like this. Can you see? I think curled. See, like this, and it's ready. Okay, so today we will learn about the last two beatitudes that Jesus taught us. Matthew chapter five, verse ten says. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 to 12 says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Now some of you may be thinking, what does the word persecute mean? Children, the word persecute means to hurt or attack or to treat someone badly. So now that we know the meaning of the word persecute, let's say the last two Beatitudes one more time together, children. I hope you're ready. Okay, Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. Can you say it along with me? Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 and 12 says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So what does this mean, children? Being treated badly for doing good? How can this be? It sounds very confusing, right, children? But Jesus says that if 
we are brave bold and stand up for him even when other people think that we are weird or when they make fun of us or even hurt us for believing in him then he will reward us we will get to go to heaven to be with him and to live with god and jesus forever so children we must be brave and bold and never be afraid to say that you believe in jesus you know there are so many heroes in the bible who have gone through extremely bad situations for obeying god and for following him we see that these people were persecuted but they still did the right thing and we see god rewarding them for the stand they took now let's write blessed are the persecuted here in the center and then as we learn about the different bible characters we'll write down their names on the petals so now i'm going to describe a few bible characters and if you know their names you can use the chat box to answer so let's start are you ready for the first one okay this person was anointed as king by samuel the prophet when he was a teenager though he did no wrong he was persecuted attacked by king saul who wanted to kill him he left his home and had to flee away to save his life but in all those difficulties he always obeyed god and did what god told him do you know who am i talking about children yes it's king david king saul persecuted david for around 15 years even though he did nothing wrong in fact david helped king saul kill goliath when nobody else was brave enough but god rewarded him children david was anointed king over jerusalem just as god had promised and he was one of the best and the strongest kings now let's write david on the petal Okay now let's see the next character This person had 11 elder brothers His father loved him very much One day his brothers sold him as a slave to Egypt because they were jealous of him He did not do anything wrong and in Egypt he refused to sin against God and he ended up in prison for it Later he forgave his brothers for selling him Any guesses children? Yes, it's Joseph. He was in jail for many years although he was innocent. He lived as a prisoner and as a slave most of his life. But God was there with him. And do you know how he was rewarded children? After a few years, he was freed from prison and he was made the prime minister of Egypt. He ruled the same country where he was once sold as a slave. So now let's write Joseph on one of the petals. Okay, our next character was taken as a slave from Jerusalem to Babylon with his friends. The Babylonians worshipped idols. and this person and his friends were told to worship the idols as well but they refused they did not even eat the food that was offered to the idols when he was told to worship the king of babylon as god he refused to do so and because of that he was put into the lions den with ferocious lions as punishment any guesses children Yes, it's Daniel. Daniel was faithful to God no matter what difficult situation he faced. God was pleased with him and God protected Daniel from the ferocious lions. Not a single scratch was on him. God also blessed him to be one of the greatest prophets. So let's write Daniel on one of the petals. like this 
Now, our next character. He was a mighty prophet sent by God to prepare the people to receive Jesus. He lived in the desert. He told people to repent for their sins because the kingdom of heaven is near. He baptized them as well. Though he preached God's word, he was imprisoned by King Herod. And then he was beheaded. His head was cut off. Do you know who am I talking about children? Yes children, you got his name right. It's John the Baptist. He helped so many people receive Christ into their lives. But he had a tragic death. Although he had been persecuted, he fulfilled every purpose of God in his life, even in the difficult situations. And his reward is the kingdom of God itself. He is in heaven with God's children. What a wonderful blessing, right? So let's write John on one of the petals. Like this. Now the last character children, he was a man full of faith, full of the Holy Spirit, full of God's grace and power. He did great and wonderful miracles among the people. He taught the word of God powerfully even to the people who falsely accused him of teaching wrong things. He was stoned to death as he was sharing God's word, yet he forgave them. Any guesses children? Yes, this was Stephen. He was troubled, hated and persecuted by being dragged and stoned to death for standing up for God. But God rewarded him. While he was being persecuted, he was filled with the Holy Spirit and as he looked up to the heaven, he saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God, ready to welcome him into the kingdom of heaven. So let's write Stephen on one of the petals. So we saw how these people faced tough situations, being put to shame, some imprisoned, some hated, mocked at and killed and yet they continue to trust in God. They did not fear but they chose to have faith in God. So children, are you willing to do what is right no matter what the consequences are? We may not face the same kind of persecution, but every day of our life, we may be questioned or judged by others for what we believe in. People won't always accept us or, or what we say and do for God. That is persecution, children. Let's see what the Bible says in John chapter 16, verse 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace, in the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. See children, we must have unshakable faith in Jesus and be bold as these Bible heroes did. Remember, we are blessed when we are persecuted because God will always be with us and give us peace and will reward us. Remember the dandelion flower children? No matter what, give your best to Jesus. So the memory verse for this week, I'm sure you already know. It's from Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. Can we all say it together again? Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Proverbs 3 verse 5 says that Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Sometimes we might feel like failures or weak or sad when our friends or other people make fun of us for following Jesus and his teachings. But we must not get discouraged by this. Reading God's word and declaring that we are his children and that we are precious to him 
will help us to become more like the person God wants us to be. So let's stand up, raise our Bibles high up in the air and make our declaration. Say this out loud, bold and strong with me. This is God's word. This is God speaking to me. I am who God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I will become everything God has promised. I am saved, healed, delivered, redeemed. I am blessed, victorious, prosperous, triumphant. I am a minister of God, a servant of Christ and a channel of His blessing to many people. I receive His word, I believe His word and I live by His word. Christ is my master and to Him I am in absolute surrender. I walk into the more glorious covenant with God. I live the more glorious life in the spirit. I manifest the more glorious ministry in the spirit. In Jesus name, Amen. So last week we learned that when we follow peace, we will be known as children of God. Today we are learning about the last two Beatitudes of Jesus. The first one is from Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. It says, Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So you know children, in this verse, Jesus is telling us to expect to be persecuted because we are his followers. This means that there will be many times when people do and say mean things against us just because we love Jesus and we are sharing his truth. Jesus says in John chapter 15 verse 18, If the world hates you, remember they hated me first. So children, if people were mean to Jesus who was perfect, how much more will they hate us? Think about it. The reason Jesus tells us this is to let us know that we should expect persecution for righteousness sake when we do what is right in the eyes of God. But you know children, as humans we naturally feel that if we are being hurt, that means we have done something bad. But Jesus is telling us that if we are doing what is right and good and people still continue to hurt us for it, we can know that God considers us to be blessed and that His kingdom in heaven that He has prepared is ours as a blessing from Him. Now the last beatitude written in Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 to 12 says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Now children, this beatitude is similar to the previous one that talks about being persecuted for doing what is right. But this last beatitude talks about being persecuted not just for any righteous or good thing but being persecuted simply because people know that you are a follower of Jesus. The reward is that we can rejoice and be glad. Basically, we can be excited because the reward God has for us is great. Now, let me demonstrate this for you now. Now, I have with me this can. It's a yummy can of mango pulp. But children, it, it's so delicious but I can't get to eat it because it's closed so I can't have them. So how do you think I can open this can children? The sealed can, there's no way I can take it out. I know, yes, I can use a can opener. Yeah, to open it. So what I do is I pierce into the can and try to open it. 
Now I wonder children what the cat would be saying if it had feelings. I'm piercing it really hard. If it had feelings like us, I wonder if it would be hurting badly. Right? Look at the way I'm piercing through. The fruit in the can are safe and secure until the sharp instrument attacks it. If it had leg, I'm sure that it would have run away. If it had hands, I'm sure it would have fought back. Luckily, this can doesn't have any of those, so I can open it well. I think it's coming out now. I can get to open the can and eat my delicious mango pulp. we could not have enjoyed this fruit right children it is the same with us in order for the fruit like love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control that God has placed in us needs to be seen and used our outer shell must be broken when we are persecuted, it's like a can has been opened. We don't like it very much. But when persecution comes, those around us have a chance to see what we really are. Even Jesus faced so many persecutions on earth. He faced them bravely with strength of God. So children, now I'll give you four points to remember when we face persecutions. The first one, to have a strong spirit. There may be many times when our friends or others treat us badly for not doing the things they want us to do or be a part of, like stealing or lying, fighting with others, hurting others, gossiping, being lazy, not doing our homeworks, not studying. Yeah, they may they may tease us for for it or they may not be friends with us anymore because we're not like them. They may not like it when we do the right things and when they are wrong. We may feel lonely and we would want to give up but children, when Jesus was treated badly by the religious leaders and was insulted by them, he did not quit. He stayed strong and continued to do good works of God. In the same way, children, we must also not give up and continue to stand strong for Jesus. Point number two, have a faithful spirit. Children, just because we follow Jesus, we might be teased. We might be teased in school because we attend church every Sundays. We, we, because we attend children's church or because we read the Bible. Our friends might make fun of us for praying before eating lunch or breakfast or for praying in public. We might be treated diff differently because we don't hate anyone or we treat everyone with love. They might not know or understand it. We should not let what others say bother us children. We know how much Jesus loves us. We should always remain loyal and faithful to him. We must learn to be like Jesus. Point number three, have a forgiving spirit. Sometimes when people make fun of us and persecute us for being different, we might get very upset with them. But you know what children? When Jesus was being crucified on the cross for teaching God's word, he forgave his persecutors and he expects us also to do the same. Point number four, have a praying spirit. Children, we need to pray for ourselves and ask God to give us a strong spirit 
a faithful spirit and a forgiving spirit. We must also pray for the ones who persecute us. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5 verse 44, we must also pray for God's blessing upon the people who persecute us. We must all pray for other Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted in places all over the world. We must pray for their protection and their safety. So children, let us remember that today we might be facing persecutions, but the persecution is nothing compared to the glory and the reward we will receive in heaven. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17, which says, we should consider it as a blessing when we face difficult situations for following Jesus because it will help us become more and more like him so that one day we can be with him together in heaven. So children, now we're going to pray. First, let's all thank God for turning our mourning into dancing. Let's praise God for he is even able to turn our persecutions into a blessing for giving his faithful servants the kingdom of heaven. So shall we praise him? Loving Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you Lord that for turning our mourning into dancing. We thank you and praise you, Lord, that you are more than able to turn every persecution into a blessing in our lives. We give you the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next, children, let's pray now and ask God to give us the strength to stand strong in the midst of persecution and remain faithful to God and God alone. Shall we pray? Loving Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray, give us the strength, Lord, to end your persecution. Whatever persecution we may be going through right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus we pray, strengthen us, Lord, enable us, Lord, to walk in the spirit, Lord, and not give in to the flesh. Lord, strengthen us by your strength. Let your strength be made perfect in our weakness, Lord. Lord, help us to stand for Jesus in the midst of every persecution, Lord. And we know, Lord, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loves us. Lord, we pray, strengthen us and help us to stand for Jesus in the midst of every persecution. We thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next, children, let's pray and ask God to give us a forgiving heart. Children, take a moment to remember the ones who have hurt you and have persecuted you. Let's pray and tell God that we have forgiven them and ask God to bless them. The children, first you do it and then we'll pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we lift up this person to you, Lord, who has hurt us or persecuted us. Lord, we pray, give us the strength and your grace, Lord, to forgive this person. We forgive this person in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to bless them, Lord. Help us to forget what they have done to us, Lord. And Lord, we ask you to bless them in the name of Jesus. Finally, children, let's pray for people everywhere who are experiencing persecution in different places of the world. 
pray and ask God to bless them, strengthen them, protect them and keep them safe wherever they are. So let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, Lord, we lift up your children, Lord, all over the world who are facing persecution at this time. Lord, we pray. Strengthen them, Lord. Guard them and protect them, Lord. Make them strong, Lord, in the spirit. Lord, help them to stand for Jesus, Lord. Lord, let your mighty hand be upon them. Build your hedge of fire around them, Lord. Guard them and protect them, Lord. Keep them safe from every plan of the enemy, Lord. Lord, let your mighty hand be revealed in their situation, Lord. We lift them up to you. We bring them under the shadow of your wings, Lord. Guard them and protect them, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's not hard for them to figure out the way you show Jesus. You know love is what they heard, and you didn't even say a word. Ain't it funny that's the way it works when you know Jesus. Oh, it's like flipping on a light switch when you're walking into this room. It's so today's online service and we'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you think. Write your comments in the live chat or send an email to kidsonline at the rate apcwo.org. Also, don't forget to visit us online at apcwo.org slash kidsonline. We have fun activities and challenges for you to do. Remember, if you do a good work and send it to us, we may include it in our upcoming online service. So make sure to go to apcwo.org, kids online and do one or more of those activities. We would love to meet with you and pray with you immediately after the service. You can join us on Zoom for a quick catch up using the Zoom login ID and password provided on the screen. Before we close, is anyone's birthday coming up this week? Why don't you type in your name, 
birth date and your age in the live chat so that we as a team can wish you and pray for you. Have you always had questions about the Bible, about Jesus or how to live for Jesus and didn't know who to ask? Why don't you email your questions to us and we'll do our best to answer it in an upcoming online service. The email to write to us is kidsonline at the rate apcwo.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Let's pray before we close. We thank you Father God Almighty for this beautiful morning, for this beautiful time of learning and fellowship. We thank you for bringing each of these children to join with us and enjoy the kids church online service. We thank you for whatever they have learned. We bless the seed that has been sown in their lives. Lord, as they learn your deeper secrets, bless them to walk in your word and in your truth. Bless those who are celebrating their birthdays in the coming week. Bless them with your wisdom and favor and keep them under the shadow of your wings. And in all the ways and walks, may they look up to you for all their needs. Bless all the teachers and participating children. We thank you for their lives and their testimonies. Once again, we thank you for this time of fellowship and ask this prayer in the precious and matchless name of Jesus our Savior. Amen. Bye-bye. See you all next week. Bye children, I'll see you on Zoom. Bye children, see you all on Zoom. See you on Zoom children after the service. Bye children, have a blessed week and I'll see you all next time.